two different methods to compare two fractions that don't have equivalent values. The first method we're going to use is called common denominator. And what we're going to find, what we're going to need to find is a number that both 3 and 7 will go into since these are our two denominators. The number for our purpose would be 21. So what we need to think about is how we're going to get 3 to be 21. So what we can do is multiply by 7 over 7 since 7 times 3 equals 21. And the reason we multiply by 7 over 7 is because 7 over 7 equals 1, so that does not change the value of 2 thirds. We don't want to change the value. And then over here, we need to find something that we can multiply by to get the denominator to be 21 on this side. And in our case, that would be 3 over 3. And again, we do this because 3 over 3 equals 1, and that does not change the value of 5 7. So we're just going to multiply straight across. 7 times 2 is 14, and 7 times 3 is 21. And then 5 times 3 is 15, and 7 times 3 is 21. Now that we have a common denominator, we can just compare the numerators because our whole is cut into 21 equal pieces. And over here, we have 14 copies of the unit fraction, which is 1 over 21. And over here, we have 15 copies of the unit fraction, which is 1 over 21. So we're going to look at our numerators. 14 is less than 15. Therefore, 2 thirds is less than 5 sevenths. The second method that we're going to learn how to use is called cross multiply. And what we're going to do is multiply 7 times 2, which equals 14, and 3 times 5, which equals 15. And you need to make sure that you're multiplying from the bottom up. So 7 cross over times 2, 14, and make sure you're writing 14 on this side, because if you write it on this side, if you do 2 times 7 and write it over here, you're going to get the wrong answer. So 7 times 2 is 14, bottom up, 3 times 5 is 15, and then you're just going to compare the two numbers, which is greater, 14 or 15. So therefore, 2 thirds is less than 5 sevenths. And the reason that you can use the cross multiply method is because if you look over here, we, that's exactly what we did. We multiplied 7 times 2 and got 14, and then we multiplied 3 times 5 and got 15, and then we just compared 14 to 15, and that's exactly what we did over here.